Hey guys, even here and what an amazing Arnold Classic Classic Physique lineup. All these guys brought an amazing shape. We're gonna focus on this top four, which is basically the top five from the Mr. Olympia without Chris Bumstead, uh, but the entire lineup, all nine guys brought an amazing shape. And these four guys were absolutely amazing. Me, personally, I had Ramon winning it from the first call out. As soon as I saw him, I thought, no way this guy can lose this show. So the second time the judges called out these four guys, they put Ramon in the middle along with Terrence. So based on the way the judges were moving them, Ramon is either first or second. Uh, Terence, he brought great shape, he came amazing, but I think Ramon actually brought better conditioning. I think he has more polish. He has so much better arms, and I think his overall physique is more classic, it flows better than Terence's. Terence is a great poser, but Ramon is not slacking, he's, he's there, he's also a very very good poser, but his presentation on stage maybe wasn't as good as Terence's, because Terence has more experience. While I was watching the live stream, I was, I was yelling at Ramon, flex the, flex the quads, flex the abs, like the coaches are yelling at their clients, like I experienced before. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't there to tell him, but I, I really wanted him to be at his best, and he absolutely did look amazing. Me, personally, if I was a judge, I would give him the first spot. You're probably wondering what they looked like from behind, because Terence is very good from behind, he has a really thick back, and sure, his back might be thicker than, than Ramon's, but the detail, the low lats, the overall flow, the V-taper, the small waist, um, the, the insertions, I just prefer Ramon. Maybe from the side you can't see that Terence is thicker, but from the front, from the way the judges were, were seeing them, and uh, also the audience that were watching the live stream, maybe Terence is more muscular, sure, but look at where lats of Terence are inserting, they are inserting basically to his waist, which makes him look a little bit blocky, while Ramon's lats are just low enough, but they have that arc that creates a classic line, and I, I love it, I think he looks better in this pose, and his conditioning is, if not better, than Terence's. Terence packs a lot of muscle, look at his back right here, it looks absolutely ridiculous, right? So much muscle, but when he does the front double bicep, back double bicep, sorry, uh, his skin falls a little bit too much and it doesn't really show the detail as well as we can see on Ramon. By the way, those biceps are just crazy so round. Look at here, look at the back, look at the lines, look at the classic lines. Wow, 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 amazing, amazing, crazy physique, crazy physique. I would love to see this guy win, then make some improvements and challenge Chris Bumstead later this year. Now, as far as Urs, he was absolutely peeled, no doubt about that. He was probably the most peeled guy on the stage, but I think he missed the mark. He was flat. Look at, look at the gloves, I mean, he was peeled peeled, but upper, upper body, it wasn't as full, it wasn't uh, popping enough, I think he just missed the mark, he wasn't full enough, I don't know what his approach was, but it looks like he was conservative with carbs, he posted a story of filming his legs in the hotel room and I thought, well, he looks a little bit flat, now his legs are absolutely insane and they will never look bad, I know that from experience, my legs are also very dominant compared to my upper body, and so when you go flat, it's your upper body that gets flat, it happened to Urs right here, so it's not only that he looks smaller in the upper body, it also means that he looks less conditioned, he looked a little bit washed away, his legs, they looked amazing, but his upper body just wasn't, wasn't that good, what I would suggest to him is to take an entire year off, make the changes, you know, create a better balance, add more tissue to the upper body and then compete. It wasn't enough from the Mr. Olympia until, until Arnold to actually make those improvements. And of course, I think he made a peaking mistake as well. So where do I have worse? I think it's gonna be fourth. I think Brian is gonna be third. As far as the top two, right here you can see Ramon uh, doing Terence's favorite classic pose. He didn't hit it yet, but he did it very, very well. I liked him more than Terence. But when Ramon did his second favorite classic physique pose, the twisted the back shot, that was it for me. That was enough for me. I thought, this guy looks the best here. What an amazing classic physique. I think he has the most potential to challenge Chris Bumstead. 
I think Terence can't do that due to his structure. Me personally, I would like to see a taller guy with bigger frame, with more muscle uh, in his arms, especially with wider shoulders like, like Ramon to represent the classic physique and to win this Iron Classic. Um, Urs, he has a lot of potential, still needs to fill up the upper body. Brion, as predicted, is slowly fading away. His right leg was not as big as his left one. That was an issue, but considering that he's like 43, 44 right now, he's doing well. If he ends up in third, that's success. What do you guys think? Do you think Terence can actually win this? Or is it gonna be Ramon? Or can maybe Urs somehow manage and, and pick better for the finals and somehow climb up into that top two? Potentially even win the show. It happened at the Arnold. Ian beat Steve Kuklo, so maybe it happened this time at the Arnold in Classic Physique. What do you guys think? And one last thing guys, if you enjoy this channel, if you wanna support me and my channel, go to the link down below in the description or use the code EVEN to buy the Old School Labs pre-workout Vintage Blast. If you guys are amped up after watching this uh, Arnold Classic and you just wanna go to the gym and crush your workout just like I'm gonna go after this video, try this pre-workout. I'm telling you guys, this is one of the best pre-workouts I've ever tried, if not the best. If you take a look at the nutrition label, you can see that it is low on caffeine, actually. It's not just a lot of caffeine and nothing else. It has a lot of other stimulances, a lot of other ingredients for a great pump. As you can see, a lot of other... So overall, an amazing product, guys. Go ahead, give it a try. You won't be sorry. I'm, I promise you. Anyways, guys, don't forget to tell me in the comment section down below what do you think about this show. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, subscribe. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best and bye-bye.